Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube, and today is Friday, March 31st. So today would have been my grandfather's 96th birthday. So happy 96th birthday to him in heaven. All right, so was done work early today. Thank friggin' God. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay, so yeah, um, I, I got a text. So the purse bingo I was talking about that we're going to um, on May 7th, $30 a ticket. So I Venmoed the person $120 because I bought four tickets. And she was like, I'll put them in the mail to you. And you know, everyone's local. Well, I just texted her like, I just checked my mail today because it was the 29th when um, I had sent her the money. So I, I was like, when did you mail them? Because I know it can take like two days for local mail. I don't want to have to chase somebody down for four tickets, but I paid $120. So I, she hasn't written me back yet. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah. I really like when I can buy the tickets online. Like the last one we went to, they had it set up through a website where you could buy the tickets and you had them right on your phone. I like that much easier. But anyway, all right, so yeah, easier work day today, thank God. Um, had a conference call with my boss afterwards, and we talked about a bunch of stuff from this week, and yeah, it's been a week. But we are only working one day next week on Tuesday, so that'll be a nice little break. But okay, gratitude list for today. I have eight things on there. Number one, today's Friday. Very, very glad. Um, we are having breakfast for dinner tonight. We're having eggs and bacon and pancakes. It's going to be yum. Number two, I have a massage tomorrow. So very grateful for that because my arm is like killing me from work this week. So I will make sure to tell her that because she'll spend extra time on that. Number three, I filed our taxes today. Um, I was going to wait until, you know, closer to tax time, but I'm like, we already have the money. And I like, let me just take care of it and do it. So I'm just grateful that we saved the money and that I had it. Oh, okay. She wrote me back. I put it in the mail the day we spoke, but missed pickup. So it didn't get picked up until yesterday. So that means I should get them tomorrow. Okay. Optimist her back. Not mean to be a pain in the ass, but yeah. We spoke Wednesday, right? Yes, we did. <laughs> She said, my days run together. Girl, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, let me pause for a second so I can message her back. All right, let's hopefully we can get through this now. Yeah, um, everyone's busy. I understand that. And this woman has kids and they're in sports and she's always fooling with that because that's who's putting on um, the bingo. It's for like my sister's high school, actually. Um, football team or something. Yeah. I should get them tomorrow then. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I had the money to pay the taxes and our tax bill was less this year, which is nice, but it's because I made less money last year because, you know, we didn't have the arbitration. So um, number four, my retreat's coming up, not next week, but the week after, like it's already two weeks from yesterday. So very excited for that. Um, I talked to Lacey by text today because the organizer of the retreat um, emailed everybody and was like, here's how the seating is going to go. So I messaged Lacey because Lacey's always there a day before me to tell her, hey, can you save the seat in front of you if possible? So um, yeah, number five, I wrote having breakfast for dinner. Yeah, love that. We don't do that very much, but it's going to be good. We've been really trying to not get takeout too much. We really try to limit it to once a week, which will probably be tomorrow. Um, yeah. Number six, subscribers. So I had been in contact with someone. I wanted a shadow box to put my extra diamonds in with a really pretty decal on the front. And this is the one I wanted. I wanted it like this. Let me show you. Come here. Um, oh, I must have deleted it. What the hell? Let me find it really quick. Sorry, I am like. Uh, 
Okay, it's not, it's not showing the picture. Anyway, I had been in contact with someone to actually, that was gonna get the shadow box and make me the decal, but it kind of fell through. And I'm not upset, I just thought, okay, I'm just not meant to get one. But then Nancy, one of my subscribers messaged me and said, she made herself one. I could make her the D, you know, she would make me the decal free of charge if I would get the box. And I was like, Ooh, huh. So I went on Etsy this morning and was looking for boxes, just shadow boxes. Holy hell, hold on. Okay, can I do this video? <laughs> that was Bill calling. He wants, he wanted to tell me he's going to Home Depot. I appreciate that very much because if he's not home in a certain time, I start to worry because he's home like clockwork. Okay, so anyway, I went on Etsy this morning because I wanted to find a shadow box. So I just put in shadow box to see what would come up. I found this one, OMG, let me show you. It is from the store is called Pink Seagull Design. Now, before you guys come for me about what I paid, with shipping, I paid $54. I'm going to show you. The shadow box itself was $40, but then it's $11 shipping and plus tax. Here is the shadow box. See how deep it is? Love that. And I like the fact that it has the hinge on the side. Wait a minute, my, are you freaking kidding me right now? It has the hinge on the side. So instead of having to pour the diamonds in the top, all to do is just lay it on its back, open the lid, pour diamonds in, done. And so the color I got, cause they have all different colors. See, I was just gonna get a black one and paint it. Look, I got this one. Oh, now. I asked them not to put the sawtooth hanger on the back because I'm just going to stand it up. But oh my God, look at the purple. That's the one I got. I'm getting that one. And so Nancy is going to make me the decal and I can't wait. Um, completely worth it. I think it's going to be completely worth it. I'll have that thing forever. So I will link that down below if you guys want to um, check that out. The size of it, of the total box is five, I think it's five and a half by eight and a half. So then the label size, you know, I think is five by seven. I sent Nancy the, I sent her the listing so she could look at it. I was just so appreciative that she's going to print me the decal free of charge. And I'm going to get it in white because she has hers in white. And she said the diamonds look really good up against it. Now, because that shadow box is so deep, it's probably going to take me a couple of kits for it to start piling up where you can see it, but it'll take me forever to fill that up. So, so very excited about that. Um, number seven, Bill, that he, I am just so appreciative that he is helping my sister to drive. So he took her out yesterday and she's already been in contact with him for about next week, which is good because remember I said I got on her and the plan was I was going to take her out Sunday for an hour but instead, we're going to go on Saturday after I get back from my massage. Bill's going to, we're all going to go. And then Sunday, I'm not taking her because she has to be at the firehouse. Like I said, she volunteers. She's trying to be the EMT. So she's doing all of that. So um, Sunday, I would just have to contend with going to the grocery store and then doing the video. Um, but yeah, so for Easter next week, um, I'm going to my dad's by myself for dinner because Bill is going to be working and um his daughter is actually going away for the weekend with her mom so they won't be over because i had mentioned that to him like you need to figure that out too and um so yeah we got that worked out which is good and then number eight some of my online friends are receiving their credenzas. I'm so very happy for them um i know stephanie myers she got her final like picture and they asked for all her info um, Vicki, she got hers. Like there's, they're really, trust me, those people are busting ass seriously to, um, get these credenzas out there. Okay. Stitching progress. I was up very late last night, believe it or not, even though I had, um, been so exhausted, I was up till midnight. 
So I got a bunch of stitching done and I watched two movies. So the movies I watched, I watched one with James Gandolfini. It's so sad that he died. James Gandolfini and Kristen Stewart, where he is this businessman that is on, on, at this convention in Louisiana and he winds up meeting Kristen Stewart in a strip club and he winds up like becoming a father figure to her. It was actually a really good movie. That one and then the other one I watched was An Irrational Man. OMG! This movie starred Joaquin Phoenix as a philosophy professor and then the girl. The girl was an easy A. I can't remember her name. She got red hair. Emma Stone? That might be her name. It's Emma something, I think. Anyway, she's a student. I can't really give it away or tell you. They develop a relationship, um, and that's putting it mildly. So, holy hell, those two movies were so good because I was like searching, searching, searching on Amazon, like, what can I watch? So very good and on Prime. Um, there's actually a movie that I want to watch. It's going to cost like 20 bucks to rent it, though, because it's in the theater. It's called The Champions, and it stars Woody, Woody Harrelson as a basketball coach. I'm going to see if Bill wants to watch that tonight because he might like that kind of movie. But anyway, stitching. I got quite a bit done. So making my way over here, did some more over here, all of this. And I actually started to stitch this square over here. So I only had like five stitches done. So I had to tear them out. And I was like, good God, it is so very easy though to mess it up if you're not paying attention. And you can see how, you know, the black ones are in line. So you see how it's supposed to go. But I am looking forward to making good progress on this at the retreat. I mean, I've been making good progress here. Don't get me wrong, but let's go. Yeah. Um, no diamond painting yesterday. That wasn't happening because I worked, you know, didn't get done work till 510, then did the video and that was it. But I did receive something in the mail today and I wish I would have waited to open it because you, you should have seen my face. So I was looking at somebody's YouTube and they had this resin tray that was very sparkly that held like their diamond painting pen and I was like, ooh, where did you get that tray? And they had linked the person in the description box. It is Lexi Sparklecraft on Etsy. So before I show you the tray that I got, wait till you see it. She sent all kinds of little goodies. So she sent a cover minder. This is so very cute. A little bow. Washi tape. An actual pen. This is actually a writing pen. Bill actually got me one of these in my uh, stocking for Christmas. Mine's pink, so now I have a gold one. And then she sent hand lotion and a nail file. Let's go. When I got the tray. Now, I custom ordered this because I wanted this color. She had trays in her shop, but I didn't like the colors. I said, can I get a purple one like this one? Are you ready? Ah! Are you? Look how sparkly that is. And I opened this in my kitchen, like under the range light. You should see it in the light. OMG. Like, and what's awesome is she puts little silicone tabs. So this will actually rest. I can set this angled and it doesn't move, but I'm going to set it. I'm going to show you where I'm going to put it. Let me flip you around. I decided I moved that mug rack, mug rack, mug mat up there. Cause I'll be putting, that is actually where the shadow box is going to go. I think. Yeah, that's where that's going to go. I may put, I might put the shadow box. See where that bead thing is right here. I may put the shadow box there and move that bead thing. I haven't even used that yet. But the shadow box would look pretty good there on the bookshelf, I think. I'm debating whether to put it there or right here. I think it would look good here because this is going to be where I put, like I could move this over like that, put the shadow box here. My iPad's going to be resting there when I am diamond painting, listening to podcasts, watching whatever. Okay, right here. So it, it will fit here. Like, it's not moving. See how it's resting there because of the silicone things. But I was like, I'm going to put it right here. 
because then it will hold pens. I still need to try that pen out. And I always like to have lip balm next to me. Um, yeah, this is where it's going to be, but OMG, the glitter. And what's nice is this is purple. My shadow box is gonna be purple. So are you freaking kidding me how glittery that was? Oh my God. I literally like screamed. I screamed when I opened it. So Lexi, thank you so very much for that. I love it so very much. That tray was 30 bucks with shipping. And she had it packaged so well. I don't mind paying, you know, extra for shipping if it's packaged that well. So I will link that down below as well. But that's all I got. Um, so I have some exciting news though. Uh, my rep at Diamond Art Club contacted me and I am not one for the mystery kits, not normally, because they're completely black and white because they want to keep the, it a mystery. So you really don't know what it's going to be till you start doing it. So I have never purchased a mystery kit. However, <laughs> my rep contacted me. I'm not going to give it away right now till I get for the sneak peek. I am doing a sneak peek of a mystery kit that's coming up at the end of April. Mm hmm Oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes. So very excited for that. Um, so stay tuned. Stay tuned for that in a couple weeks. But okay, that's all I got. Um, I hope you guys are all having a good week. I'm so thankful today is Friday. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.